Hi, my name is Amit and I represent the group who, which consists of uh, Amog, Vijay Sarthi, Naveen, Sri Ram and me, uh, Amit Pradhan. So the data that we have used for the purpose of this project is the Chicago crime data sp uh, spread across 2011 and 2012. And the three views or dashboards that we have tried to create is one is going to be a high level view of what's going on in the area for the Chicago uh, chief of police. Uh, the second uh, dashboard is basically going to be used to for businesses to make decisions regarded, regarding bus doing business in Chicago. So that would be the second uh, strategic dashboard uh, with a different set of audience that would be using it. Uh, the last dashboard that we've made is an analysis dashboard uh, and that would be used by the Chicago Police Department again by the people who are on the ground to analyze the crimes and the patterns within the crimes to make decisions make decisions regarding uh, you know what the crime rate is and where the police should be uh, deployed. And Moving on to this current dashboard that you, you see, Chicago Police Department, this is going to be viewed by the Chief of Police to identify the high crime zones. So what we've done over here is the red ones are the high crime zones and we managed to do that through uh, clustering this data using TIPCO Spotfire. And what you see over here is a cluster, the three clusters of high crime and then this big cluster of moderate crime and then three more or four more clusters of low rate of crime. So within this, what you see over here is are the 25 uh, other number of districts that are there in Chicago, 25 districts, and you can look at their crime rate and compare violent crimes, narcotics, uh, non-violent crimes, and also the arrest rates, which show a steady decline in, and also the number of crimes have kind of gone down year on year. However, what you see over here is, uh, you know, in District 11, uh, violent crimes are the highest and are narcotic crimes. So is there a correlation between the two? Uh, you know, a, a chief of police could take action basis that and uh, try to see if there are gangs in Chicago to stop. Want to buy a property in Chicago. So what they can do is select the district and you see what is the type of crime that is the highest in district one, that is theft, followed by deceptive practice and then battery and so on and so forth and what is the time of occurrence 56 percent of these crimes in districts so the, uh, the person who's doing business can or buying a property can decide where in district one if they would rather buy a property or if they already have a property then whether they need to be careful or not similarly what you could probably look at is let me just zoom in again all right so you can you can also select the moving on to the next dashboard this is going to be the analytical dashboard which basically talks crime is the highest and then what you can see is what time of the day it occurs so that uh, they can do their deployment of resources accordingly on a day-to-day -day file select now if you want to see vehicle crimes you can select vehicle crimes and see at what time of the day they peak versus, versus uh, which day of the way the week they peak. So now if you really see Saturday is the day when it's low, whereas Friday is the peak.